Okay, hey everyone. Uh, we're going to take a look at this problem now. If a polygon has 54 diagonals, how many sides does it have? Okay, now I would assume a question like this, um, were this to show up on the exam, you would be given the formula for this. And I don't want to go through uh, an explanation as to where that comes from, but the number of diagonals, okay, is going to equal the number of sides, choose to minus the number of sides. Okay, or you can think of n as also the number of vertices in the polygon. Okay, so n is either the number of vertices or sides. Okay, and that's what we're going to be looking for here. Now, in this case, the number of diagonals is 54. So that's n choose 2 minus n. So, really, what's important here is that this is a, a combination question, and this is about as difficult as they would let them get because if it was n choose 3 or, or higher, then the resulting polynomial becomes a, a cubic or a quartic, and although you, you are capable of solving those, uh, the amount of work just becomes that much more, and they wouldn't expect that on, uh, on a major exam. So this is the limit. So now we apply the definition, and it becomes n factorial over n minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial minus n. Now, I would like to get rid of the fraction part here. Now I can see that there's a 2 factorial in the denominator here, so I'm going to multiply everything through, first of all, by that 2 factorial, which turns out to be just 2. Okay, so I multiply the, the left-hand side, and that gives me 108 is equal to n factorial over n minus 2 factorial. Now, if this was done where uh, you were following somebody's work and you had to figure out the mistake that they made, the very common mistake here is to not distribute the 2 to the n. Okay, to get it on, on both these two terms here, but to not distribute it to the n here, when in fact, that has to be a 2n there. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to simplify the, the factorials here. Okay, n is larger than n minus 2, so that is going to end up being n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial when I expand that out. the n minus 2 factorials divide out, and I am left with n squared minus n minus 2n, because that 2n that was left over, which tells me 108 is equal to n squared minus 3n. Now at this point, I can, I can kind of guess what the answer is going to be, because in this point right here, actually, and I'm going to write this over here just for now, I could write that as n minus sorry, n times n minus 3. So a number multiplied by 3 less than itself is equal to 108. Well, if you're comfortable with the factors and the multiples up, uh, up to multiples of 12, you'd notice that, that uh, 12 times 9 is equal to 108. So I can see that the answer right now is going to be 12. But let's say you don't know that. Let's say that that's not obvious to you. Then you bring the 108 over. So n squared minus 3n minus 108, in which case you'd have to go through the process of, of figuring out those factors of 108 anyway. And you would discover that this will be n minus 12, n plus 9, which means my two factor, or my two roots here are going to be 12 and negative 9. But again, obviously, the, the negative 9 I don't allow, so the answer is that this polygon has 12 sides.